Martin Junior High leading Bain 15-4. David Horta throwing the ball in to Robertson. And I'll make that in Andre Nemhard. Sorry about that. Blocked by Bain. And they'll bring it back slowly. Nice passing by Bain. Good move or two. And the basket. With a bit of a trap, the pressure is put on Martin. They break it nicely. Leading 15-6. Ball is deflected away. It'll be Martin Ball. The three-point attempt is just off the back rim. And the foul will be called. Andre Nemhard with the ball. Not a shooting foul. So Nemhard will be inbounding. Three point attempt. Off the back of the rim. That's Antonio Robertson who has that three point range for the Wildcats. down in the Martin defense and again the trap on Martin and without any difficulty well a little bit of difficulty for Martin and the carry turns the ball back over to Bain of Cranston Martin leads 15-8 in the second quarter, we missed the opening two or three minutes of the ball game. The County Sports Network on the road today in North Providence, covering junior high state championship basketball. This scale, Martin on the move. All the way in. Andre Nimhard. Martin leads 17-8. Travel, double dribble call, Martin's ball. Porter and Robertson to bring the ball up. Robinson, a skillful ball handler. Tony Robinson breaking toward the basket, took an extra step on the travel to bring the ball. Back over to Bain. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go in the first half. Martin leads 17-8. Bain having difficulty penetrating the tight Martin defense, so they'll have to launch long shots. Tony Robinson with the rebound. Bringing the ball up slowly for the Wildcats. Head coach Joe Smith for Martin. Amro with some nice moves. Yes. I'm sorry, make that full Canelo, 22. Three-point basket. It's the score, Martin 19, Bain 9. Again, Bain with the pressure. And they're going to call Martin, Andre Nemhard, for having a foot on the line. So Bain slowly creeping back into this game. Robertson with the initial good defensive play, but his motion carried him into the Bain player, and the foul is called. Bain will inbound. 19-11, Martin. Martin. 
Nice follow-up rebound by Bain. They get a second rebound. And another nice move, but they missed the layup. And on the second, maybe third attempt, score the basket. Martin will keep possession. 19-13. Nice pass to Pinero, who loses a hand on the ball, but Hort is there to recover. And Tony Robertson. Porter dribbles in toward the basket. It's going to put it up. Off the rim. No good. Bain comes back. Trailing 19-13. Oh, looks like he took a step, and he is going to be called for the extra step. Good call by the official. 19-13, Martin. And Porter to inbound the ball. Bain making a substitution. Robinson slowly surveying the defense. Porter and Robinson play catch. A little bit screened by the official here as the action gets close. Robinson to the basket around and out. And Bain, another rebound as Martin has hit a slight cold spell. crowd here from Martin Junior High in East Providence, including principals, faculty, staff members, some parents. They were able to get out of work. A three-point shot is good by Bain. 19-16. They are right back in it. And Horta will pick up the foul. The pushing charge called on number 14. And Horta to inbound. Porter will look for Tony Robertson. Nemhard. The corner to Pinero. Nemhard finding Pinero. In and out. Ryan Ammo fighting for the rebound. And Bain comes away with it. So Bain right back in this ball game. 19-16, Martin leading. Three-point shot put up off the back of the rim. Robinson breaking away. Robinson will be called. I mean, the foul will be called on Tony Robinson. And it looks like a shooting foul. Tony Robinson to shoot two. Bain crowd trying to distract Tony. Robinson on the line shooting two. Robinson, the picture of cool ice water in his veins. Sinks the shot on that. Kind of looks over to the crowd. Hits the second one. Martin leads 21-16. Almost taking a step. Main play to Martin defense collapsing nicely. And still, Tony Robinson going to take it all the way and pick up the foul. So again, Tony Robinson will go to the line and most likely shooting two. Again, the battle of wits here as the Bain fans getting on Tony. And Tony sinks it and takes a casual look over to the Bain crowd and gives him a smile. 22-16, Martin leading, Robertson off the front of the rim, and the Bain fans let him have it now, and the playful banter goes back and forth. 50 seconds to go in the for a half. Bain chooses to take it out. Set up for a better shot. Maybe looking for a one here. Bain 
Bean unable to penetrate that Martin defense. And that should be a Martin ball, and it is. Twenty-seven seconds to go. Robinson and Martin will be looking for one shot. Robinson, the quarterback, on the floor. He'll wait for the opportunity and make his move. Ten seconds. There he goes. Robinson finds water, puts up the three off the back of the rim. It appears it'll be a Martin ball with fraction of a second, 0.3 on the board. Off the back of the rim, and it would have counted, but Tony Robinson with a great attempt. And at the end of the first half of play, Martin leads Bain Junior High 22 to 16 in this junior high school championship game. school players. I'm sorry, I was distracted here as the officials came over and were talking to me. Uh, the Bain Junior High cheerleaders, of course. Some of the fans here from Martin Junior High School watching, waiting for their cheerleaders. And Bain is wrapping up. We're at halftime. You're watching the Townie Sports Network at North Providence High School covering the Junior High School Championship basketball game. Hugh B. Bain, Junior High of Cranston, Rhode Island. Edward R. Martin, Junior High School, East Providence, Rhode Island. Our Townie Pride. Martin Junior High has not lost the basketball game in just about two seasons. As the Bain cheerleaders get a rousing applause by the overflow crowd here from Bain Junior High in Cranston on this side of the gym. And here come the Wildcats. for me to get all of that as we're close to the court. I think you get the idea. Great job by the Martin cheerleaders. cheerleaders and we see head coach Joe Smith and his team huddled with strategy for the second half take a look right now at a couple of 
Martin Junior High administrators to the left of the screen. Principal John Resendiz to his right. House leader John Johnson explaining how he's going to start a diet soon, <clears throat> as I should talk. And house leader, Mr. George Burt, coming across the gymnasium floor. All here to watch the game and help with supervision. Right now, Bain has taken the floor. Warming up for the second half come the Wildcats. Pride and joy of East Providence, Martin Junior High, reigning Junior High state champions, looking to repeat. And of course, this only bodes well for Townie Sports, as these young men will be wearing the red and white of East Providence High School. Some of them will. Others, of course, will be coming back to Martin for ninth grade. Some are eighth graders, maybe a seventh grader. I believe they're all eighth and ninth graders. Tony Robinson on the floor, taking some warm-up shots. on the floor warming up and get set for second half action junior high state championship sound on now. We didn't have it on the first couple of seconds there. As you see Bain scoring the first basket. They still trail Martin 22 to 18, but we have a ball game. Open up by Bain, junior high. Now the whistle. Waiting for the official's call. It appears some kind of a foul. Or maybe a technical foul. So I missed the actual details, but Bain player will be going to the line shooting as a technical foul called against one of the Martin players. Up and in, 22-19. And he gets the second bounce. A little lady luck there, helping out number 21 for Bain. And of course, the technical gives them the ball right back. Now they trail by a bucket. 22-20, Martin. Broken up and stolen. And back comes Porter. Tony Robertson racing to the basket. And it appears that he will be on the foul line, shooting two. Bain certainly aware of Robertson's skills. Robertson getting the roll. That's them both. Here's a, another foul is being called. A pushing foul. Against one of the Martin players, not a shooting foul. The Bain will bring the ball up, trailing by four, 24-20. Bain, three points. 
23, a one-point ball game. Robertson racing to the basket. Will pull it back up. Nice fake. Missing on the three-point attempt. Bain with the breakaway. And the layup and the lead. 25-24. Bain. Robertson electing to slow it up. Porto with the three-point attempt. No good. It would appear that Martin is rushing things just a bit. Panicking maybe much too early because they've lost their lead, but it's only a one-point game with a lot of basketball left. The air ball thrown up by Bain. Officials stopping the play. Panero and Horta to bring the ball up. three points and he needs to get his club together I my guess is that he's letting his club know let's not panic we're still running better than this team they're not penetrating our defense Back in. Four minutes, 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Martin now trailing by three. He seems to be a little more collected now, a bit more poised. Robinson slowly and skillfully looking around. Ammo with the ball. by Panero. Martin putting on the pressure. Robinson. And the ball comes back as we have coast-to-coast -coast basketball. Rebound by Brian Amrill. Travel call for the shot or a foul. 27-26, Bain with a one-point lead. Fancy dribbling. Narrow back to Robinson. Robinson putting on the move, going to the basket. Crowd calling for a foul, not getting it.
Davidson pushing it up. Launches the three-point at yes. Three-point basket, Tony Robinson. Defensive play by Martin. Yes, for the basket. That's Roland Scott, number 20, now in the game for Martin, I believe. Almost stealing it is Andre Nembrat. Great defensive play, slows things up a bit. And a timeout call. Martin has retaken the lead, 31-27. 31-27, Martin with under two minutes to go in the third quarter. You're watching the Junior High State Championship on the Townie Sports Network. Uncontested layup, but it's contested at the last minute by Panero, I believe, in a great defensive play. Batting the ball away, and Robinson with a great move into the basket, yes! Bain with a minute to go, third quarter. Having trouble penetrating. Now they come in for the basket. Banged away by Panero, but he'll pick up the foul. He's got 58 seconds to go in the third quarter. <laughs> and shooting two at the line, Ruby Bain. Missing the first shot to the delight of the Martin fans. 33-27. For the second one, 33-28, although the scoreboard hasn't reflected it yet. There it goes, it is 28. Martin probably looking for, no, not the last shot as Robinson goes for three and Bain comes away with the ball. Long pass, broken up by Tony Robertson. And it will be a Bain ball with 42 seconds to go in the third quarter. Three-point attempt. No good, and Panero with the Martin rebound. Pushing it up to Tony Robinson. Robinson calling out a play. And they'll go for the last shot. Robinson throwing the ball. Looking up at the clock, getting ready to make his move. There he goes. Robinson putting on almost a one-man show and almost stealing the ball back at the buzzer. And the score is Martin, 35, Bain, 28, after three quarters of play. Hello? Come on, guys, come on, come on. Yes. Well, maybe just start when I'm into the basketball game and I'm running the camera, but I can hear it. Test. Guys, we had some technical difficulties as we watch the 
shot by Bain. It's a 35-33 ball game. Martin leading. We run into technical difficulties from time to time when we use our wireless system. And I apologize for that. It's a little difficult to tape a game looking through a one by one inch viewfinder, black and white, and try to do some commentary. So my apologies, but I hope that you enjoy most of this telecast. And what a smooth move by Tony Robertson, number 32. Martin with a semi-press, if you will. 37-33 lead. Bang, three points, bang. There have been a ton of three-point baskets in this ball game. Thirty-seven, thirty-six. We have five minutes to go in the game. Martin holding on to a one-point lead. For a sport pass. Canero to Nembrek. Off-balance shot by Roland Scott. Nemhard is the pronunciation of the name. I believe I've been saying it wrong. Very loud in here. Can hardly hear myself and operate this camera. So hopefully you're getting most of it. 37-36. Martin lead. Three-point attempt up by Bain. No good. And Robinson with a great rebound, out muscling at least two Bain players for the basket. Nero, no, that's Andre Nemhard, 21. Nemhard with a great running right-handed layup, 39-36 Martin. What a great game. We're in North Providence, Rhode Island at North Providence High for this junior high school state championship. Martin Junior High, they are the reigning state champ. to repeat, undefeated in two years. Again, the great defense by Martin, causing Bain to do a lot of perimeter passing. Great, great collapsing defense, and it, it ends up in a steal by Horta. The layup, oh, and he just misses. Emerald gets the rebound out to Horta, yes. with the important assist, and Bain wants to talk it over. 41, 36, Martin, junior high. It is difficult to name all of these players. Nemhard, 21, Paul Pinero, 22, Antonio, Tony Robertson, 32, Roland Scott, number 20, David Horder, number 23, Michael Agrin, number 25. Those are basically the players that you'll see in this ball game. The coach, Joe Smith, a great job. Martin crowd, live and hopping. Game crowd, trying to get it going. 41-36. Martin leading, game with the ball. with the rebound to Robertson. Tony Robertson, looking like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with a running hook. And Bain again, trying to break inside. They can't do it. It's picked off by Brian Emerald. Nemhard to Horta, moves in for a little closer shot, and he gets it. David Horta, 45-36, Martin leads. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go in the ball game. 
Three-point attempt by Bain is good. 45-39, this game is far from over. Two great teams going back and forth. Tony Robertson, yes, and he's fouled. Robertson at the line, getting one, 47-39, Martin Reed. Tony Robertson. Bang. Number 34 for Bain. Three points. 48-42. Six-point lead. Robertson controlling the action. Making his move, slows it up a bit. Wise move by Tony Robinson. Starting to use the clock a bit. Just off the front of the basket. And it'll be a foul call. Looks like on Nimhard. Could have been on Panero, not sure. It's not a shooting foul. A minute and 40 seconds to go. State championship on the line. Martin Junior High looking to repeat. Tough man-to-man -man defense being shown by Martin Junior High. Nice pass. And the lane was shut off. Bang, three points. calls the timeout. <laughs> Martin Junior High with the three-point lead and a minute and 18 seconds to go. Calling the timeout. the ball looking for Nimhard. Nimhard will push it ahead. It appears there was a foul before the attempt by Nimhard to shovel the ball away. Minute and 10 to go. 48-45. Martin will be inbounding. Nimhard finds Tony Robertson alone. This is the layup. Of course, part of that miss was done because of the tough defense. With Bain, 48, 45, under a minute. For the basket, Bain. Bain wants a timeout, 48, 47. to a one-point lead over Bain Junior High of Cranston. Martin has the ball, 52 seconds. Tony Robertson dribbling through a crowd. Gets it to Nemhard, score the basket. 50-47, Martin leading by three. Gotta watch out for the fouls now. As we say that, a foul is called. Not what Coach Joe Smith wants to see with 35 seconds to go. First of two. There's no good. There could be a big miss. Seconds. Second one is 
good. 50 to 48. Porter. Trap. And foul. David Horner picking up the foul and he'll be passing it in. Porter finding Robertson. Robertson breaking it up nicely to Nemhard, wisely pulling it back and he'll pick up a foul. Nemhard resisting the temptation to break to the basket with still 23 seconds to go. Wise move on his part. Pulls up and he takes the foul. But amazingly, they're still not at the foul line. Porter, David Porter, and again a foul. Martin keeps winding him seconds off the clock and now we have a shooting situation. David Horta. Pressure pack. Foul shot. One and one. Horta missing the first end. Mad scream along the floor for the ball. Jump ball and it will be Bain possession. Point eight seconds on the clock. Defense! Defense! crowd yelling for defense. defense. We're coming down in the wire. Martin leading by two. Defense! And a blocking foul call. So Bain can tie this up on the foul line. Here's the story. Nine seconds to go in the ball game. Martin leads 50 to 48. Bain on the line. A little bit of confusion at the scorer's table as the substitutions are sorted out. Coach Joe Smith talking to Tony Robertson. There we go. One and one. Let's make the first one to get two. Doesn't get it, and Martin gets the rebound, and Tony Robertson wisely calls a timeout. Not even giving Bain a chance to tie up the ball. Great call by Tony Robertson, and he went to the official right before the foul shot was taken to let him know he'll be asking for a timeout. So wise decision on the part of Martin Jr. High. Catch some of the action here on the sideline. Seven point four seconds to go on the clock. Martin has the ball and the two point lead. inbound. Ball is stolen by Bain. The shot is put up. No good. And was that ever dangerous? Had that shot going in, we would be looking at a three-point play and an opportunity for Bain to win this thing from the far line. pressure for this young man from UB Bain, 50, 49, five seconds. We might be looking 
in that overtime. UB Bain goes wild. They tied this up with five seconds. What a ball game, what a finish. 4.5 seconds on the scoreboard. We are tied at 50. It appeared Martin had the victory. Was stolen by Bain. The shot was put up and missed, and a foul call. And now everybody in the gym is expecting to see Tony Robertson get the ball and make one of his coast-to-coast -coast efforts. 